way police use force is being talked about around the world because of what was happened and what captured on video in Minneapolis. Since George Floyd's death, civil rights leaders have rallied around a South Carolina family that has demanded to see the video about their loved one's death. Now tonight, we have the video that showed that Saturday afternoon in November when Arian McCree died in the parking lot of the Walmart in Chester. He was handcuffed, but police say that that didn't stop him from attacking a security guard and running to his car to get a gun. Even though McCree was handcuffed, investigators say the gun he had made him a threat. The state AG agreed and cleared all of the officers. Now we understand that this is a difficult video to watch, but because we push for transparency in the search for truth, we're bringing you that video tonight. Channel 9's Aaron Edwards is here to take us through it. This family needs closure. This family needs the truth. For Aaron McCree's family, the last six months have been difficult. And for several weeks, loved ones have been pushing for body camera footage from the moment he died. As a community, a small community, trust has been broken severely. So we're, we're, we're trying to remain hopeful and resilient, but it's, it's, diff, it's a difficult thing, especially being a black man in this, in this community, in this nation. Today, Chester police released that video showing the moments McCree was shot and killed by police. Police say McCree was in custody of Walmart security after shoplifting. According to a newly released letter from the attorney general, investigators say while in handcuffs, McCree assaulted a security guard, ran away, and allegedly went to his car to get a gun. Radio dispatch reported shots in the area, but it's unclear if it was McCree or responding officers. Here's what that body camera video shows. A responding officer confronting and firing on McCree. None of it has audio. You can see the officers walking towards McCree with a gun pointed at him. Video shows McCree appear from behind a car and he appears to still be restrained. The officer fires several shots before McCree falls to the ground. When the officer runs to McCree, he appears to pull a gun from McCree's side. You can see McCree is still in handcuffs. We won't show the rest of the video because it is graphic, but we did see officers tending to his wounds before he was taken to the hospital where he died. Back in March, the attorney general's office said the two officers who fired shots were acting in self-defense and they will not be prosecuted. But McCree's family says they still have questions, like how did McCree point a gun at officers with his hands restrained? This man got handcuffs behind his back and y'all gunned him down for what? Don't make no sense. A lot of stuff need to be cleared up. Now, as Aaron mentioned, the family has been pushing to get that video released for months so they could take a look at it. We looked into how hard it is to get police body camera video. In South Carolina, the law states that video does not have to be released, even if you file a public records request under the Freedom of Information Act. Oftentimes, the video is not released until an investigation is complete.